Um, wait. Hi, Natasha. Thank Welcome you so to much. My new apartment. Thank you so much for disassembling the shelves. What system did you use to keep track of them? Every piece is labeled. Okay. How did you label them? So I divided it into horizontal pieces and vertical pieces. And every horizontal piece is labeled with a left end, a right end, or a center end. And if the big word is left... Let's look at one. Okay. So here's one that says left. This is, this is just like being in a, at a filming of this old house. And so... Okay, yep, so this one says left. And therefore... E5, which are equivalent, I understand. And left. therefore there's an L and a C in the bottom row. And the L is at the left end of the shelf. And the C is at the center of the shelving unit. Ah, so smart. The end of the shelf in the direction of the L is at the left end of the unit. And the end at the... We have audio. Keep going. <laughs> and the end where the C is is connected to the center post. And we took out two screws from each of these brackets. I see. Even if there's only one screw into the shelf, there are two screws that need to go into each of those brackets. If the bracket's missing, there were no screws between it and the shelf, but the bracket is in the bag. Okay. Does that mean we have a screw loose? And, and a missing screw, yes. <laughs> so, the, sh the labels are all on the bottom sides of the shelves and the bottom sides of the top piece and the left sides of all the ver vertical pieces. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the shelves for the right, so the right shelves will be labeled C on the left side and R on on the right end of each shelf. Wait, say that last part again. I'm sorry, I distracted myself. The right side, yep. six or seven shelves, will have a C on the left end of them yep. and an R Got on it. the right end of them. Okay to show their orientation. Again, the label is on the underside of the shelves. Is the label on the underside of all the shelves or just the horizontal shelves? The just small the ones? horizontal shelves and the top. The bottom one, I couldn't get to the bottom side. Where it says bottom? Yeah, so that's in fact the top of the bottom, but that's pretty obvious. It's the top Here's of the right. bottom. Yep, and top of the bottom, I love it. And the bottom has a left and a right. This is so organized. And Here's the top, and it has a left and a right. And is that label, I guess it's, we can tell by the brackets, that is the bottom of the top. And that's the top of the bottom. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, yep. And those three shelves are the vertical pieces, and they're probably labeled left, right, and center, and the labels Let's are all... Let's find out. And the label, I'm sorry, the labels are what? On the left side of the piece. I don't. Maybe it's on this side. Ugh. These are vertical pieces or horizontal yes. pieces? Vertical. Oh, I see. So this one says center left. Yes, and you'll see an arrow on it. It points that way. And the arrow is up. Are all the arrows up? Yes. Okay. So center. So it's this, this is the one that was in the middle of the whole unit? Correct. And this is the left side of that? Correct. Oh, you are so smart. And then this one says just merely right and it has an arrow pointing that way. Oh, I get it. And this one probably says left with an arrow pointing. Be correct. Oh, there it is. Left side. Up. Wow. Boy, did I ask the right person to do help me with this. <laughs> and I can't imagine even without... Now, the only other piece of information that's not on the tape is yes. the shelves are labeled, the horizontal shelves are labeled from the top down. The top shelf is labeled top, left, and it has an A1 on it. Mm -hmm. The second shelf down has a B2 on it. Oh, like the E5 and stuff? And E5 is the fifth shelf down, and there's an F6 
underneath that one. Got it. So... So how many shelves in total will there be? Ten? I forget. We no, can count them. There's, there's Fewer. A through E, one and two? I think there's F, which is six times two. There's at least twelve. Well, I'll tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. That's how many I came out with, no ring on my number system. <laughs> all screws are identical as far as I know. And they're all in effect? Yeah. The other piece of information you need to know is that when it goes up, there are shims to put under. Oh, uh, yeah. This is, the more, key. This is carpeted, whereas the other was not under the shelf. And on the back, there are four corners that will have L-shaped pieces. On the back? Oh, of the whole unit? Yeah. On the back. So each of the exterior four corners will have an L-shaped piece. And there's probably six screws and you'll find the holes that work for these brackets. And in the center pieces... This is... How are we going to watch this video? Just on the camera. In the center pieces, there are T's, where the T, the short two top pieces, are on the bottom and the top pieces, and the long part goes down the center. So there's one of these for the top and the bottom of the center piece. Mm -hmm. Again, six screws, and it should be obvious when you look at the shells which screws they are. All screws are the same. If there's a piece missing, like here, it's in the bag, and after you finish putting this together, a couple of six-packs, and you should be in a bag, too. <laughs> Thank you.